everyone, welcome to the Gotta Check channel where if you don't have a tech, now you do. All my contact information is listed below in the description. You can get training, easy tips and tricks on how to use tech devices and programs more efficiently. One of my students recently asked this question and in this video we're going to do some photo manipulation and publisher. Now just keep in mind that generally the same rules apply across the Microsoft Office suite of apps. So once you learn how to do it here in Publisher, you likely can use the same or very similar method in other Office apps to achieve the same thing. First we're going to start out with uploading our photo. So I'll just delete it so that we can start from the top. We go to insert, pictures, navigate in your file explorer to where your picture is saved, select it, and press enter. Now the photo is in the publisher program. So the question my student asked was, how do I manipulate this photo? and make it transparent. And the way to do that would be to select the photo, right click, go to format picture, make sure you're in the picture tab in the format picture, and almost in the middle of the menu you see the transparency option. Currently transparency is set to zero, so you have the full saturation of colors in the picture. So we want to move that over to your desired percentage. I want it to be at about 75. So I'm going to move it over to 75. And then you press OK. You can also type the number in if you don't want to use the slider. That works the same way. And press OK. And now the picture is transparent. So you can write over it, uh, make a flyer or whatever your intention was for this particular photo. I'm going to restore the photo. The next question was on how to crop the photo. So in this example, I want to crop the letters at the bottom, the call or text, the tech at the bottom of this picture. So you select it again, you go to picture format at the top, next you go over to crop, and now you see you have, you have selectors all around the border of the photo. You have eight selectors. So depending on what area of the image you want to crop, you would use that selector. I want to crop the bottom, so I'm going to just select the one in the middle, the bottom middle here. And my cursor, if you look carefully, it turns from an arrow to a T shape. If you do on the side, it's almost like a hammer shape. So once you have that T shape, you, you click on it and you push it up to where you want, you want it cut off. And as you do that, you see what I'm cropping out of the photo becomes transparent. And once you have it where you like, you click out of it, and there you go. You've cropped the photo. The last part of the session with my student was on how to resize the photo. So I noticed that he was using the side selection and the top selection to resize the photos. And that works just fine, except for it removes the integrity of the, of the photo. It makes it grainy, it makes it distorted looking. 
um, you have a photo that looks too skinny sometimes or you get a photo that's uh, too tall or doesn't fit exactly right. So in order to keep the integrity of the photo where the proportions are kept more intact when you change the size, you would go to the selector on the corners. Any of these corners would work. And as you see, when you, when you hover over it with your cursor, the cursor turns to an arrow, a diagonal arrow. So you also want to move the cursor in that di diagonal direction. See, I'm moving it diagonally. And as I do that, it keeps the integrity of the photo. It's not getting too narrow or too widened. And you can also put it back or you can make it smaller, whichever, whichever way you want to go. But that's just a little better way to resize the photo. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel so that you can always be up to date on the latest advice from Godatech. And don't forget to write in the comments if you'd like to see more videos on this topic. Thanks for watching!